We have another beautiful phone here. In this video, we're checking out the new Redmi Note 9S. Hello, beautiful people in their homes because that's a responsible thing to do right now during this pandemic. Like I said earlier in this video, we're checking out the Xiaomi Redmi Note 9S and this is Xiaomi's newest mid-range contender. Aside from all that, this is looking like one big and beautiful phone. I am currently in love with these sort of metallic, shiny colors on smartphones. So yeah, without further ado, hands on time. This beautiful phone comes in three colors. There's also a gray and a white version, but we all know which one I'm in love with. Literally a handful, this phone is pretty big. That screen, it's 6.7 inches. That might mean a great viewing experience for some, but for my tiny hands, it means I won't be able to reach the edges of the screen with one hand or fit this phone in my pockets. The phone feels nice and solid. It's not too heavy. You don't get that glass feel, although the front and back panels are supposedly Gorilla Glass 5. There are four cameras on the back in a square module that slightly extends with a flush flash. Yeah, that just means that the flash isn't on the camera bump. There's a hole punch selfie on here and above that, there are speaker grills. Hidden in there is a notification light. On the right side of the phone, a volume rocker and a power button that doubles as a fingerprint scanner. On the bottom, more speakers, USB-C charging port, and audio jack. On the left side, we have the SIM tray. This thing is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G processor and their different configurations. The one I have here has 6GB RAM and 128GB storage. The Redmi Note 9S runs on MIUI 11 on Android 10. Everything looks nice and clean and there's dark mode. I love dark mode. Though, for some reason, I'm not the biggest fan of that bold font on the notification shade, but it's a minor aesthetic pet peeve and I can live with that. So, remember when Oppo and Vivo and Xiaomi went like, guess what? We're gonna make our own airdrop and it's gonna be better because we're all gonna be in it. Well, here we are. Basically, MeDrop works with updated Xiaomi devices and it's so fast and seamless. The best part is that it also works from Xiaomi to Oppo phones. So that file sharing system, it's basically built into MeShare and on the Oppo side, Oppo Share. We don't have a Vivo device that does that just yet, but for sure, it's coming. And before we move on to cameras, I want to know something that this phone has that I never thought I'd appreciate, but here we are and I super duper love it. Well, this phone has an IR blaster built in and it has the Mi Remote app on here and I managed to connect that to our air conditioning and now look what it can do. Dude! <laughs> Lol, so we didn't even know that these old air conditioners had all the different features and setting options because we never tinkered with actual remotes but now I know. Of course, it wouldn't be a complete hands-on video if I don't check out the camera. So on photo, you have wide, 1x, 2x, and that zooms up until 10x. And then there's an HDR option, AI, and then here you have different filters and of course beauty mode. It's just a toggle like this now. On video, you have sort of the same mode. So you have wide, 1x, 2x, but you can only zoom up until 6x. And then you have here the same filters, beauty, and then different filters. Okay, so that's 1080, 30 FPS. You can go 60 FPS, 4K at 30 FPS, and then 720 at 30 FPS, which is what the video mode reverts to when you do filters and the beauty mode. And then you have a time-lapse 
option, a movie frame option, a macro mode, show grid lines, straighten. What's cool is you also have a short video mode on here. So it has wide 1x, 2x, up until 6x, that's the same thing. Except when you shoot video with this, it does give you a 15 second timer. Not only that, it allows you to do wait what is this there's a kaleidoscope mode okay that's pretty cool this is perfect for tiktok actually and then there is a super slow mo mode slow regular fast super fast and then there's an option to change background music for whatever you're shooting that's pretty cool basically a lot of editing apps so this is perfect for social media there's also the same filters and beauty mode and then there is a slow motion mode. On the other side of the fence, we have a 48 megapixel Ultra HD shooter. So I'm assuming this shoots 48 megapixel images. Filters are available. And then you have the portrait mode. So you can adjust the bokeh from here. And then there's also a movie mode for this. Um, I love this mode actually. This is a mode that they got from the Meitu phones and this is also available on the Xiaomi Mi CC9 Meitu Special Edition uh, phone. Uh, I have a video on that so you can check that out. I love this mode. This is pretty cool. And then there are beauty modes and filters as well. There's a night mode. It has 1x, 2x. Those are the only options. Panorama mode. And then there's a pro mode which allows you to adjust everything from white balance to shutter speed to aperture. So, oh, macro, wide, that's cool, that's cool. You can also do video on the pro mode, so I like that. On to the selfie mode. Oh my gosh, my hair. Hi guys. <laughs> so there is one 16 megapixel shooter up here. And then you can turn on AI, no. And then there are beauty filters. So as you can see, the beauty filters on this side are more detailed. There's no zooming in and out. On video mode, there are still beauty filters, but it's just the bar and then the different filters. Short video mode gives you the same options. Oh my gosh. This is cool. I like this. Slow mo, super slow mo. It's all the same. Slow motion mode on the front facing camera. There's no 48 megapixel selfie mode. There's a portrait mode, of course. Adjust everything with the same thing. But there is no night mode on the selfie either. Or the pro mode, it seems. Let's go out and try this camera out. Right, so as I'm sure you noticed by now, I really like these kaleidoscope effects. So yes, this is trying out the cameras of the Redmi Note 9S. All audio and video now coming from the phone. Let's try it. So what's pretty cool is after you shoot these short videos, you can instantly send to social media with the press of a button. So for example, this can go straight to TikTok. This phone is also very good with selfies, beauty mode, or no beauty mode. And also, these mirror shots from the rear camera turned out great. And just quickly, just a few of my favorite camera features. When you press the shutter button, it gives you a countdown. It doesn't take that photo instantly, so you have time to actually, like, pose. I love that. I love that. That's such a tiny feature, but it's very useful. You can also reprogram the volume buttons to do something else like the normal shutter, zooming in, or just the volume. Of course, my favorite palm selfie gesture is also available. Another thing that I really, really like are these live tips. Like, it will tell me if my lenses are dirty. That's pretty useful for someone like me who has a tendency to smudge the cameras on her phones. Anyway, what's new? Of course, I'm gonna go out to the dogs because they're my very willing photo subjects. Let's do this. Well, hello. Good afternoon, guys. Here we go. Hi. So this is the wide angle right now. 
Hi. One next. Hi. Oh my gosh. These two. And then this is the two X. The one next. What are you doing? Anyway, for some reason, the dogs were really uncooperative that afternoon. So here are a few photos from our garden to make up for that. And that was my first look at the Redmi Note 9S and it's looking like there's no stopping Xiaomi from churning out these great phones with great value for money. Of course, I'm gonna need more time to check this out, lockdown or no lockdown, so let me know what questions you have for me and this phone. I will be coming up with a full review soon enough. If you want to see all these tech in action, I post about my daily adventures using these devices on social media. You can check me out. That's at said on Twitter and Instagram. Until next time, stay home, be healthy. Bye!